This segment of Delmarva Life is brought to you by your local York and LG dealers. You know, it's, it's just that time of year. Just a few <laughs> days ago, we had the heat on. Today, we wanted to turn on the air conditioning. It's just, it's just that time of year. We're at the point where the temperatures are going to swing mm -hmm. when it comes to the highs and the lows. So the last thing that you want to have happen is for your HVAC system to not work either way when you need it the most. But more important than that, you need to be able to get the most out of your energy source, not pay too much for that energy, and to get help when you need it. Here to tell us how to do all of those things is Kristen Jackson, Office Manager uh -huh. of Austin Cox Home Hi. Services. Thanks for joining us Thank you for having this me. afternoon. Okay, so you uh, are here to tell us there are five simple steps that can save us both uh, money and energy. Yes, there are um, five steps that are actually um, very cost efficient. Mm -hmm. You can, um, of course, have your um, your system maintained right. regularly on yeah. a regular schedule. Um, replace your filters once a month or as needed. Um, you can use the sunlight to your advantage. The natural warmth would be a um, perfect heat for heat source for your home. Okay. Um, you can close doors and windows that to um, places in your house that you are not using right. to help heat the areas that you are in most of the time. And if you, um, another option is to set your thermostat on your water heater lower to 120 or below. Um, that could also help you um, save money on your energy costs. Okay, I want to talk about those individually more here in just mm -hmm. a second. First, I, I don't have a programmable thermostat, and I've mm -hmm. heard a lot about one. Is mm -hmm. it a good thing to get? It is. Um, a programmable thermostat can help you save 10% on your energy cost. Um, if um, you're a working parent, um, a working um, right. When you're away from the house. Yes, when you're away from the house, right. um, you can set your thermostat to a lower temperature and then have it come on an hour before you get home so that it's comfortable when you arrive at home. Yeah. Okay. So, and another thing that you mentioned, and it seems like a no-brainer, but the sunlight really, we can use it to our advantage. You can, you can. If you're ever, um, if you're ever on a hot sunny day um, in the middle of winter, it's not hot, but you know, it's warm in your car yeah. because the sunlight is um, warm in your car, even though it might be 30 degrees outside. Right. So it is a very good natural heat source. Okay, we're talking about windows. Mm -hmm. um, I know a lot of people will put heavier curtains on in the winter and they'll mm -hmm. change it for the summer. Yes. Is this a good thing? Well, I suggest that you probably leave some light curtains up in areas that you're at most so that you let the sunlight come in okay. and warm those areas. If you're in your kitchen and your living room a lot, maybe continue to have the light curtains in those areas right. so that you can either keep them there or pull them back so that you let the sunlight into your house and let it warm those areas into your home. So Equally, you, you, you worry about uh, cold weather getting into your house as well. Yes, you do. Um, using plastic coverings to put onto your windows, mm -hmm. um, you can buy them at any local hardware store. Um, they can help um, leave the warm air in and leave the cold air out um, so there's not air flowing back and forth. Um, another way is there's the little slip covers that you can put underneath doors, especially your doors that lead to the outside because right. um, a lot of air comes in, a lot of cool air comes in through your doors. Um, and then always keep your garage door closed if it's attached to your house because the air blowing into your garage can also blow into your house and cause your house to be cooler. You can use that on interior doors as well, can't yes, you? Yes, you can, yes. Um, for the rooms, um, like I was saying, um, for the rooms that you don't use often, mm -hmm. you could put them onto the doors that you're not using and that would keep the air, the cool air into the rooms that you're not using and the warm air into the rooms that you are using. So it's a form of zoning your house? It so is. You're using it the, is definitely a good parts. good and inexpensive way to zone your home. What about the water heater? Is there something I can do with the water heater? You, can, you can turn the water heater down lower um, to a temperature that is comfortable for you. Um, doing this would save energy. Um, of course, it costs energy to heat your water. Right. And and this would actually call, save you money to you know, not warm your water up to a higher degree. Okay. And if you like it lower, it's okay. It's okay. It is definitely okay to keep your water heater to a lower temperature. Because the worst thing you're going to do is save some money. Yeah, that right. Be horrible. <laughs> All right, let's talk about people. There are people on Delmarva who sometimes have to choose between heating their home and eating food, feeding their family, but there mm -hmm. is assistance for those people. There is. In Delaware, you can contact the um, Catholic Charities of Delaware. Um, they are an organization that can help um, lower income families that are having problems, um, you know, affording you know, heating for mm -hmm. their home. Right. And they, you can give them a call and they can help you and assist you to find, you know, to um, heat your home. Right. Um, in Maryland, you have Shore Up. 
um, you can give them a call and you can also get assistance to help um, pay for um, heat and cooling your home. And we'll, we'll have those phone numbers online for you as well. You can go to WVOC.com, click on our picture up there and we'll have those numbers for you there. Um, if you're close to a point of actually getting cut off, there's an organization that can help you out there with that? There is. There is the Protection Service Utility. Okay. Utility Protection Services. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can give them a call and they can help you budget um, your energy costs ah. so that it is more affordable for you to pay. Gotcha. All right, Kristen, thank you so thank much. You. So, so much, much information. And if you'd like to learn more about Austin Cox Home Services, visit WBOC.com and click on our picture at the top of the page.